Hello again everybody, my name is Becky Meadows and I'm going to be discussing some beauty tips with you. The average cost right now for the price of, say for example, Clinique facial cleanser is about $19.50. Most people don't always want to spend that much money um, on any beauty product and it's nice to be able to have a beauty product that you can do multiple uses with. So what I'm going to be discussing with you is a much more ex inexpensive product which is your average baking soda. The most popular brand of course right now is Arm & Hammer baking soda and even for the cost of that box of bark baking soda the cost is going to be under two dollars. That's about the average price in most retail stores today. So I'm going to give you some ideas of how to use the baking soda. Um, this is a generic store brand, but it still works the same. It's basically the same ingredients. So one thing that I'm going to be discussing first of all is how to use the baking soda for your face as a facial cleanser in place of Clinique. So first of all, you just want to take and put your hair back out the way and then we're going to just take I have a little bit of warm water here you want to use the warm water because that will open up the pores in your face I'm just going to give you a little example of making a basic paste um, you pour about an average amount of what you would cover your face with I'd say like a couple tablespoons of baking soda I'm going to just pour that into this little container here and then I'm going to go ahead and add some of the warm water to the baking soda. And then you can just stir it around. Um, you want it to be, for a cleanser, you want it to be more watery, but you can also use it as a face mask. In that case, you would make it a little bit more thicker. So for the fa facial cleanser, you just add a little bit onto your face. And you could actually kind of fill the little grains from the baking soda that kind of makes it into like a little bit of a scrub. And like I said, if you want to leave it on for a mask, you would probably leave it on to for about five to ten minutes. And it depends on your own sensitivity with your skin. So then you would rinse that off. So that is one use. The second use for baking soda um, as a beauty tip would be for a hand treatment. This could be as a manicure or pre-manicure treatment. Um, you do the same thing so you could take this warm bowl of water and you could actually add the baking soda to that. And what I like to do is first soak your hands in it. You would probably want a little bit bigger of a bowl so that you could put both hand, hands in at the same time, but you let it soak for a few minutes. Um, once you're done with that, you can actually take while your hands are still wet and you could actually add some of the baking soda to, to your hands and you want to kind of just let that turn into a paste. I need a little bit more water here. You just add that into a paste and then I would let that sit the same as how you did with the face for about five to ten minutes and you can kind of fill that granules in that and it's actually really soft so you let it dry and then you would rinse it off and then when you rinse it off you'll feel how fresh and how moisturized your hands are um, another thing that goes along with the manicure is taking some of the baking soda and you could actually put it underneath your nails and you could take like an average brush um, a dry brush or a nail brush and you could actually rub against your nails and it'll actually clean underneath your nails and sanitize them. The last thing that I was going to talk about is actually that manicure. Um, oh, I forgot. That was going to be for the teeth whitening. So brushing your teeth can be expensive when you buy an expensive tooth whitening toothpaste. So simple way to do this, and you could do this all in the morning, is take your toothbrush, brush, put a little bit of water on it, and then just sprinkle the 
the baking soda on there. And then you would just brush your teeth just the regular way. And then to rinse, that is a little salty by the way, to use um, a mouthwash to freshen your breath, you would just take a little bit of water, probably cool water, and pour a little bit of the baking soda in it and then swish your mouth and your teeth will be whiter and your breath will be a lot fresher. So basically all in all, just wanted to bring up the point how inexpensive beauty products can be and it's nice to be able to have something that you can use for multiple uses. So instead of spending $20 for a facial cleanser, you can buy a $2 box of baking soda and have a facial, a manicure, and whiter teeth. Thanks!